Hi guys. This is Diagrotech. Today, we are going to download and install the latest GNS3 client version 2.2.17 on Windows 10. In the next videos we are going to install GNS3 VM on VM Workstation Pro, Cisco, Fortigate and Juniper images. Before we proceed you need to understand the two components of GNS3. First is the GNS3 client which you will install and available for Windows, Linux and Mac operating system. Second is GNS3 server or GNS3 VM which you run with a hypervisor such as VMware Workstation Pro, VMware Workstation Player, Microsoft Hyper-V, VirtualBox and VMware ESXi. Let's proceed. Open your web browser and go to gns3.com. Click on free download. It allows you to choose which operating system you want to install the application. Since we are going to install in Windows 10 we will select Windows. Click on download. For you to download the file, you need to log in or create a free account. You need to have an account for you to download the file. You can create account if you still don't have one. Log in if you already have an account. Click on download again. Wait for it to download the file. Close this window. At the bottom you can see the option download the GNS3 VM. You can see the hypervisors available for GNS3 VM. We will cover this in the next video. Let's check the downloaded file. You can see the version is 2.2.17 which is the latest version during the time of this recording. Double click on it. Click on next to proceed. You can read and agree to the license agreement. If you are new to GNS3 then I recommend you to leave it all as default. You can see the GNS3 VM option which we will cover in the next video. You can extend the tools for more GNS3 core applications. Let's leave it as default. Click next. Click next. Wait for it to install the application. You need to install WinPCAP. Click on Next. Agree to the license agreement. Click on Install. Then click on Finish. Next is the NP cap. Agree to the license agreement. Click on Install. Click Next. Click Finish. Now, it will download and install Wireshark 64-bit version 6.2.4. You will see the GNS3 shortcut application automatically created on desktop. Next, it will automatically download and install PuTTY. Agree to the license agreement and click accept. Enter your email address and click continue. Click on next. You don't need the SolarWinds standard toolbox so choose no and click next. The GNS3 installation has been completed successfully. Start GNS3 is already selected so just click on finish to run the GNS3 application. Skip this window for now, so click cancel. To minimize the console, click on the dots and drag it down. 
Check the server's summary. If it's green, it means, the GNS3 started successfully. We need to restart the application every after installation to avoid errors. This is very important, every time the GNS3 starts, you need to wait. Wait for the application startup process until you see the server's summary is green. If it's red after few minutes or blank. Or, if you encounter some errors. You may try any of these steps. First, restart the GNS3. If it doesn't work, proceed to the next step. Restart your laptop or computer. Most of the time it's blocked by the firewall or antivirus. So make sure you permit and exclude the GNS3 from your antivirus and firewall. You can also view the startup check summary if it has some errors. To do this, go to help, GNS3 doctor. You can check the startup summary from here. You can also run your task manager to check the GNS3 process. Now, let's run some tests to verify that the GNS3 is working properly. We will create a very simple topology. Every time the GNS3 starts, it will ask you to create or open project. You can enter a new project name then click OK. Or, you can go to file then choose new blank project. Enter a name and click OK. I will overwrite this project since it's empty. You will notice the error notification at the bottom and right side of the page. Every time you encounter some error you will receive some notifications and pop-ups. Let's now build a very simple topology. Let's add a switch. Go to browse switches then drag one switch into the topology. Next is end devices. We will add two VPCS. You can click, drag, and drop the devices. Now click on add a link. You will notice that the cursor has turned to plus sign. Click on PC1 then click on the switch to add a link. Now click on the switch and click on PC2 to connect both devices. You can change the symbol of every device based on your preference. Right click on the device then select change symbol. You have some few options. Let's go for affinity circle blue. You can click to expand then choose a symbol or you can use the filter. Search for client and click the symbol you want then click OK. Let's change the switch symbol as well. We will use square blue for the switch. We can also show the interface labels. If you prefer to show the grid you can enable it as well. Go to view, enable snap to grid. View again then enable show the grid. You can zoom in and zoom out. Now, to disable the grid you can just disable show the grid. To start up the topology. Click the start resume button at the top. Click on yes to start all devices. Now. You will notice the topology summary that all of the devices have turned to green. It means that all of the device are now running. 
let's open up a console for all devices. You can see that only one device showed up. Let's restart the console again for us to see both PC. We can now see both PC. By default, the font is very small. To change this, click the three dots or menu. Settings, General. Under Fonts and Colors, click on Lunch Putty. Go to Appearance. Under Font Settings, click Change. Let's change the size to 22 and font style to bold. Click on OK. Go to Session, select Default Settings then click Save. Click Cancel. Click Save to apply the changes. Close the solar putty down then open it up again. You will notice that the fonts are now bigger. You can resize or edit the font by doing the same process again. Now, we will do some test. First we will set IP address for both PC. Set the IP address of PC1 to 10001 with a subnet mask of slash 24. Set the IP address of PC2 to 10002 with same subnet mask. Once you set the IP address then you should be able to ping each other. Let's try to ping from PC1 to PC2. Success. Let's now test to ping from PC2 to PC1. Success. This means, the installation was successful, both PC can talk to each other. Lastly. We have to save the configuration. GNS3 won't automatically save the configuration unlike Packet Tracer. To prove that everything is working. Let's do a quick test. We will close the GNS3 then open it up again and double check the configuration. Wait for the application to start. We will wait until the server summary changed to green. To open the previous project. Click on recent projects. You can see the new project.gns3. Click on it and wait for it to load. We will start up the topology again. If you want to turn on device manually then right click on it and click start. If you want to start the topology then click the start all device button again then click yes. Same goes with the console. If you want to open selected device console then right click on it and click console. Or click on the console button to start all putty for all devices. Let's test to ping again PC2 from PC1. Success. Ping from PC2 to PC1. Success. Well, that's all for today's demonstration. In the next videos, we will cover up how to install GNS3 VM within VMware Workstation Pro. And also Cisco, Juniper, and FortiGate images. Again, please help my channel to grow by clicking the like, share, notification bell for more upcoming videos and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.